Hi, this is Mark Patterson, University Ombuds for Cal State University Channel Islands with another quick conflict management tip. In December 1914, French, German, and British forces had been fighting for months and what had become one of the bloodiest and most violent wars in human history. And yet in the midst of that terror and horror, Men on both sides of this conflict, in trenches that had begun to tear their way across Western Europe, came out of their trenches and sang Christmas carols together and played soccer together. No formal truce had been called. No directive had been sent to anyone. They simply managed to find a way to end the, the suffering, at least for a little while. How did they do that? What is it that allowed that level of trust people had formerly just days before been trying to kill each other were now able to spend time in peace. We tend to think of trust as something you either got or don't have. The author Stephen M. R. Covey in his book The Speed of Trust identified four components integrity or alignment with expressed values, intent, your apparent motives with respect to others and how you behave, your capabilities, your talents, ability, skills, knowledge, and style of behaving, the means we use to get the results, and finally, the results that we achieve themselves. All of these four things work together or independently to build trust, and we can change that dynamic by working on any number of these components. In this quick video, I wanted to focus on the concept of intent. Looking at intent, the first place you have to start is yourself. And ways that you can do that is to critique yourself, almost as if you were looking at yourself from a third party, third party perspective. What am I, or what is Mark seeking here in this situation? You might even borrow a technique that the Toyota Motor Corporation developed years ago in order to get to the why, and that is asking yourself five whys. Keep asking, why do I feel this, or why do I do that, and then ask a why based on that. Somehow often when you get through five times of doing that, you begin to really understand your deeper motives. Then, when you have an understanding of your own why, make it public. Make it something that you're willing to be critiqued about. and seeking feedback about from others, both before and after you engage in actions. Being transparent is a powerful way to build trust through the intent component. And finally, in the, your intent, choose an abundance mindset. And it can be a tough choice, but looking at back to that example in more than 100 years ago, in some of the most terrible fighting, we chose to look at abundance in the sense of shared love of Christmas season for those troops, and music, and a little bit of peace. It didn't have to be 100%, but small steps, small behaviors can plant seeds of trust. That's your quick conflict management tip. This has been Mark Patterson.